All right, I'm here in Romeoville, and this just this was just brought to my attention that this Burger King ended up closing. Now, I think this lo location performed very poorly because it's entirely hard to get into this place. Like if you're coming from the interstate, it's very hard to get into. See, there's a median right in the middle of the road. And that's your only entrance to get into that Burger King. So, yeah, this, this was a bad location. And plus, for the longest time, this whole area was on... The roads were all under construction for the longest time over here. So I'm sure that affected their business. So let's go take a look at this. An aban another abandoned Burger King. Yeah, this one was brought to my attention by one of you guys. Thank you very much. As you can see, a sign used to sit right there. An old Burger King sign. Alright, let's go take a look at this here. Abandoned Burger King. Yeah, this one, it must have just closed. Okay, now I kind of, oh, I wonder if this was the play area. Look like they stripped out the play area. Look like they stripped out everything. Yeah, this is a very, very poor location. I mean, it sits in a corner and everything, but the entrances are bad. It's only one way in, one way out. I had to like to get to this. I had to like make a U-turn, an illegal U-turn. Yeah, this is a play area. I see a little sign that says play area. So here's the entrance. Too late. Okay, so we got the double doors. This one doesn't have the spatula handles. There's a little highway map right there. If you can clearly see the label scar for the Burger King right there. Okay, let's walk around this way here. Since there's more windows over here. Yeah, this sits right off of Interstate 55 at Weber Road. got some good shots of the playground area here so see if we can get some good shots of the dining room area looks like I can get over here wow everything has been stripped out of here there's like no nothing left no furniture. It's like a lot of the kitchen equipment's gone. Everything's gone. Can't even tell it was a Burger King. Took everything down. Here, let's take a look at the... Uh -huh. Too late again. Yeah, you can see the front counter. Let's step back and take a look at this. This is what it would look like if you were looking from Weber Road. Alright, 
so we're heading into the drive through area here. Man, they did not waste any time getting all this out of here. This one has two drive up windows. Yeah, there's no pop machines left, no no equipment. And plus also two Burger King's been kind of on a downward spiral too. I mean, if you follow my channel for a number of years. This isn't the only Burger King that I've come across. But I think what makes this one especially, th this, this made this per perform especially bad was just bad location. Just a, ver a very bad location. Not, not bad neighborhood, but it's just not, like if you see the way everything was designed over here, I mean, it's not a good location. I kind, I used to drive. I drove by this like for a little bit. Like I, I worked like in one of the warehouses over here, and I drove by this, and you never saw any cars in the park in the parking lot. Yeah, you did not see cars in the parking lot. Look at that, they even took out the drive the drive up sign here. Sorry, it's a little windy. Yeah, they even took out all the apparatus and everything. Signages down and everything. I guess you could tell it was like a Burger King or something. So let's go back and wrap this up here. It's like a new gas station's going in over there. Alright, one last look at this Burger King and we'll get out of here. So if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Make sure that you like, comment, and share these videos, please, from Romeoville at this Burger King abandoned. God bless you. Continue shopping at your local businesses and continue shopping at your local mall. Thank you very much, you guys are awesome.